watching out for you and your community. This is WKBN 27 First News. There's a lot of remarkable women out there. My God, there are so many. Uh, mm. It's true, and you are one of them. Oh, I don't know. But you are actually our winner for 2023. Congratulations. Mm. A month long, WKBN has been introducing you to remarkable women right here in our community. This morning, we're thrilled to officially announce our winner. Sometimes beauty can emerge from tragedy, not right away, but in quiet moments of remembrance. That's where Terry DeGenero's story starts, but not how it ends. She's found passion and purpose in art, starting with a blank canvas after losing her son seven years ago. First news anchor Lindsay Watson shares her story. Art on any medium is a form of expression. It brings life to color, movement to design. For many, it's a creative outlet. Art is, I have learned, is such a subconscious response to so many things. Terry DeGenero tragically lost her son Ryan in 2015. As any mom will tell you, it's still hard to talk about. Ryan was an artist at heart. It was his passion, his therapy his escape. It was very personal, you know, um, it would be in places that were blighted, uh, falling apart, you know, that was like his canvas, it just brought that life, you know, to it and that color and that, that recreated it. Ryan believed he was rewriting history within those fallen walls along the Youngstown landscape, giving life to a broken canvas, each design marked with his signature. Helms was my son's tag. And for anybody who knows anything about graffiti, you have a tag. Now your tag could be a symbol, it could be some letters, it could be your name. Um, there's many definitions for it. What it means, Terry says she doesn't know, but it was special to Ryan. And when he passed, that laid the groundwork for what would soon become the Helms Foundation. It, it was terrible what we went through. And, and maybe that's why I'm driven because I would not want anybody else to struggle like that. Spearheaded by Terry, the foundation promotes and provides art therapy services and programs to those in need throughout our community. I can't imagine somebody not having that ability. I'm not saying it's for everybody, I'm not saying it's the cure-all, I'm just saying, but not to have that available, that resource there and handled by a professional, which I would have loved to have found that person for him. The Helms Foundation now has full-time therapists on staff helping to promote the development of art therapy throughout the Mahoning Valley. What they have done so far is amazing. The feedback I have gotten is so positive and the areas that we are in are just so impactful. And they just keep expanding. Terry dreams of one day having an independent art therapy studio. It would really be the only one in our area, and we are working towards that. Ryan's legacy continues to live on in his art and the foundation which he inspired, sharing the therapeutic benefits of artistic expression. For his mom, that means everything. There are so many mixed emotions that I go through on a daily basis with this, and I'm just glad that I'm part of my son's, kind of his dream. That was Lindsay Watson reporting from all of us here at WKBN. We want to congratulate Terry again and to read more about her story, the Helms Foundation, or to read all the other stories of the remarkable women here in the Valley, head over to WKBN.com or you can find it on the WKBN mobile app.